Hello, um, I'd like to uh, show you the book I uh, bought. I have uh, been talking about the perspective um, skills. And uh, this is a book called uh, uh, Perspective Made Easy, Honest Knowing. And uh, this one is kind of very, very easy to read and easy to understand and I think uh, I recommend for everybody. And the one thing is that I learned from this, you know, I almost uh, studied a perspective, perspective a long time ago and I knew what it is, but the one thing that I didn't know is a, a horizontal line and eye level line. Uh, I think that's what uh, 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 it a little bit uh, concerned me, but uh, it's eye level is a horizontal line. And uh, so that's the most important thing. And uh, it's eye level, how you determine is that when, you, when you're standing or sitting, whatever, the, the flood comes in and the water fills up to your eyes over here. And uh, that's the eye level. Everywhere in this building or mountains or whatever, that's the eye level fields. You know, that's the horizon there. Level. And uh, everything converges to that uh, one point, which is a vanishing point, uh, where you, whatever you're looking at, it's a very converges uh, that direction. Uh, parallel line converges to that direction, and uh, <coughs> parallel line is a pretty much the way you you construct the perspective technique, I would say. Uh, for example, they are the, you know, when you look at a, a photograph without no people, uh, you want to put the person in there and uh, you kind of wonder how big the person is compared to the surrounding you know, landscape. And uh, there is no way that you can find, if, you don't, if you're not familiar with this landscape, if, you're not, uh, if you don't know what the size of the, this rock, or this tree or whatever compared to the human size uh, there is no way that you can find the appropriate size there. Um, so uh, the train changes like uh, you are uh, standing high above or low below or whatever it is uh, absolutely you have to make sure that where you are standing and then you can kind of uh, uh, Kind of a guess what that means and uh, uh, high above and uh, low below and you can kind of construct a perspective from there but anyway so that's a technical thing and i think uh, um, what i notice is that always it's a good idea to to find the uh, some uh, reference materials uh, when you put in a landscape the human figures and uh, you kind of compare that reference material to the human size, uh, then you can use the perspective to go, you know, closer or uh, distance, the left hand side, right hand side. You can construct that particular sizes by perspective, and that's what you can do. But anyway, so this is nothing to do with the perspective, my painting, <laughs> but uh, I will show you one by one there, and it's about maybe values, uh, maybe values. Uh, this is a first painting I did. Um, it's uh, the stunning uh, this particular uh, sunlit uh, far mountains, and uh, this is a little bit sunny area too. And uh, I kind of uh, tried to make this one has uh, much brighter than this, but after a while it became darker. <laughs> so, but anyway. The person is there, the size there, you have to determine what the size of height of this person standing here. And uh, that's what I was talking about perspective. You really have to figure out, you know, because you apparently, this particular road is sloping down and you have to know where you're standing and then you're looking down there. Um, here, it's, that's a, pretty much like a uh, difficult steps to determine. Okay, so this one the value is a little, a little bit too dark uh, for watercolor, maybe too dark, but 
you know, you want to detect, you want to describe the, the scenery of the very dark, shady area. There is no other way to do it, you know, you have to make it darker. And so that's what it is. It's kind of a heavy-handed and muddy uh, dark area there. Uh, so tired of a dark value and I went to this picture. This photograph has a very stunning, this particular, this is not a flower, this is after fireweed. Fireweed is a flower in the spring, they bloom, uh, nice pink flower, uh, purplish pink. But when fireweed flower drops uh, toward the end of the, end of the summer, uh, this one, uh, all the petals are, are gone, but stems remains there. The stem is kind of a brownish, uh, purplish, reddish color, and it, it was in a photograph, it is stunning to see that. And again, perspective of this particular person, you really have to know how, you know, where you're standing, uh, and how this particular slope is going down or up or whatever, you have to determine the size of this particular person. Uh, okay, and the last one is this. Uh, this one I, I tremendously struggle <laughs> uh, due to this particular person. Uh, without this particular person, um, it's kind of boring pictures, you know, the uh, particular composition is nothing here uh, except for, you know, shrubs and trees and stuff. And uh, um, so I put this particular person there, then I really have to know. Size is okay, I think size I can determine, you know, by my experience. <laughs> But uh, the way this particular person's posture, the way uh, she looks away, or and how she walks, and, uh, and so forth, uh, it's uh, it's uh, you you. That's all up to this artist's skill to depict the human figure, and that's why it's very important that you can practice the. Um, uh, uh, the drawing of the person and you have to kind of a, you can you know the draw the person's figure you know almost like a you know without uh, uh, thinking that much but uh, uh, for me uh, you know I have been doing that but still it's a, it's a lot of struggle to make uh, persons and also I don't want to make it more detailed uh, figure here so that uh, you know eyes goes in here I don't like that so it, it's a, a struggle to not um, you know the, the, not detail uh, enough to uh, allow the the, post, the viewers eyes goes there you know it doesn't have to go there but it goes there uh, because com this competition is like, a, you know, this particular part is uh, very highlights of this painting, and, uh, and this counterpart is this particular person, and so it's important that you want you know, to make it realistic, you know, more striking uh, pose of this particular person, especially this big. You cannot really, really uh, ignore the uh, how this particular person looks and so forth. So, okay, those are three paintings I did. Uh, today is kind of a dreary day of April 21st, but uh, I continuously practicing the painting. Okay, bye.